So we just dropped the pick in here behind Goose Spit and Igigik. Earlier today, we had a seal failure on the main seal on our kinematics drum drive for our gillnet drum. I'll show you what happens when you try to put a blown seal back in right here. Ah, uh, she's pouring good. We don't have any more diapers. So we ran the 40 miles up from Ugashik up here and got a new seal and we're gonna put that in right now. We're building up back pressure and that's what caused the seal failure. Got a 10 pound check valve on the case drain on this, causing some back pressure maybe as well, 10 pounds. The gurus say take it out. What is that, that retaining ring made out of? Not this. That's an O-ring. Christ. There's two bits of O-ring. That There's... means that there's an O-ring that doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Bad O-ring. Hmm. More later. Super loop. Since we couldn't fix it on the grounds, we ran back to Naknek to fix it in the shop. So we just took this apart and found this little piece of O-ring, if you can see that. And it doesn't really look like it comes out of this unit, although it may somewhere down in deep inside. I don't know, this word on the street is this thing smoked. Oh, I see the O-ring. Oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, it's... oh yeah, just let it all hang out. <laughs> I'm just seeing what's gonna fall out. Oh yeah, there's the O-ring that's smoked. Oh, right. There's two O-rings that yeah. are smoked. Yeah. Look at that! There's a half an O-ring left. But that, I mean really, that's all that the problem is? I think so. I really think so. Because that's this, just this allowing kid, fluid to go whoop. Show. This is a kid show. Watch your language. So you can see that this, this plate here is scored just terribly. Those bolts are sheared. These are sheared. Oh. That's what our issue is. I was about ready to blast kinematics for this, this 
design, but okay. the fact is, is, you know, we sheared those bolts. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna unshear the bolts. Very seldomly does it work like it's supposed to. <laughs> Never I done. mean, honestly. I'm being quiet about this. Yeah. Well done, sir. Well done. Two more to go. Three. We're over here at Bristol Bay Prop using his press to press this baby out. You can see this has been heavily scored in here, <laughs> but we're putting it back together. We're going to limp through the last bit of the season and it's going to work gonna work by golly. Johnny, you wanna grab the metric Allen's? Allen. Allen? 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 Are they upstairs? What are the torque specs on this? Get them tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, quit. Since we don't know what the f doing, it's gonna be a hundred bucks an hour ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Right, like a glove. Way to use your hips. <laughs> Apparently we can fix shit. Yeah. She's still f***ed up, but at least it's running. And uh, we'll swap that thing out next year. Let's shut this pig down and check the wheel. Right. Fixed it. Gonna get back in the water tonight and go fishing again. We had two issues that caused this drive failure. First, the case drain was not plumbed directly to the reservoir, and two, operator error. We were not using the valve to backfeed fluid to the motor when we were setting at high speeds. 